you can add instant replay to your OBS live streams easy and free. I'm gonna show you how to do it today so you know what? Let's get to it! There is a link in the description down below so you can download the plugin, install it, and check it out for yourself and follow along. That is the best way to learn. So let's install it. So here is the plugin we're gonna install. We're gonna go ahead and click on download and we wanna find the one for our specific application. In this case, we're gonna use Windows installer. So we just click download right there. And then all we have to do is go into our downloads folder and we can double click on it and then just double click on it again takes a couple seconds to unpack it and then we're going to get an administrative prompt which you can't see but just click yes and it's going to find your obs directory yours may be different than mine so just make sure it is obs studio click next and that is just the name of the application and next and install and finish and now we have replay source installed on our system. Now let me show you how to use it. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. I've got two simple scenes in here. One is showing like a game scene and the other one is just a simple talking head scene. And we're gonna create a third scene here. We're gonna click the plus. And we're just gonna call this replay one and click okay. And then we're just gonna click the plus and we're gonna go and add a replay source. And we'll call this replay one source and click OK. And we need to add our video source. For this particular replay, we're gonna select our cam and we can select an audio source for this, although it is not necessary. Duration, so right now we're going to do five seconds, which is 5,000 milliseconds. And we can set up a delay and all that sort of stuff if we like. Our visibility action will just continue the clip. We can change this up so it'll restart the clip. So when it becomes visible, it's just gonna restart the clip and it will loop that clip and you can set it up so it will go to another scene when the clip is finished playing if you'd like. We're not gonna put anything in there for now and we need to select a directory where we want our clips to be saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a directory and we'll just call it replay and I'm just gonna select it and select the folder. So there we go, now it's in our replay directory. And progress crop source and text source aren't really things that you need to worry about. If you wanna learn more about these, it's pretty much outlined in the FAQ for the actual plugin. It just allows you to add text and that sort of stuff. We're gonna use text and do those things in a different way than what is set up in the plugin. So basically, this sets up everything we need. If we go into main, you can see we don't have anything in here yet and we'll just move that down to the bottom. If we go into main, we don't have it in here yet, but what we can do is click the plus and we can add in our scene and we'll add in replay one. With replay one, what we're gonna do, you can see it's the red box. We're gonna go ahead and shrink it up so it goes up here. So this is our replay box right there and all we have to do is set it up so it works. So we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go into our hotkeys and we'll just go on down here to the replay and that would be right here replay source one so if we want to load the replay so we can see it on screen we're going to go ahead and use f2 in order to clear the replay we're going to use f3 and to start the replay we're going to use f1 and it's really just as simple as that you can actually adjust the speed of the replays and everything else there are all kinds of awesome features we're going to try to cover the basics so you can have a replay up and running really easy. Now I can do whatever I want. I can save the replay and when I click F2, there we go. The replay is playing and it will just keep looping and looping and looping. And then when I press F3, it goes away. So we can add all kinds of really cool effects to this as well. Let's just go into our replay here. We're gonna right click and go into filters and we'll add a really simple mask filter using the Advanced Masks plugin. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use the shape. We'll go with an ellipse. And I'm gonna go ahead and just record and then play a replay so we can see what this actually looks like. And we'll adjust the width out like that and the height up like that. And there we go, so now we have a replay playing in that cool circle right there. Clear it, we can go ahead and save it and play it. 
<laughs> there we go. Simple, it'll just keep playing over and over again. That's the simple basics of the actual replay. If we wanted to add text, we could easily do that. The easiest way that I've found to do that, let's go ahead and clear this, is we'll go into replay, and what I'm gonna do is click the plus, and I'm just gonna add uh, some text. And we'll just uh, put replay in here. And you can see that that mask is in here. It's projected in here. So it helps if you spell stuff right. You know what I mean? And there we go. We can put it in here and center it up, make sure that it's totally visible. And you're gonna see when we go over here, even though our replay is not playing, that's still visible. So we need to fix that. We're gonna go in here and we're just gonna turn that off. And then I'm gonna go back into settings and I'm gonna go into hotkeys. And we know our hotkey to bring our replay on is F2 to load the replay. So what I'm gonna do is just find that text and so we're gonna go into replay one here. We've got our text, and to show our text, we're gonna go ahead and set it up to F2. The exact same one that we're using here. And to clear our text, we're gonna go to F3. So that turns it off, so that'll be F3. And now what we could do, when we go back in here, and we can just save our replay, and then, play our replay and there we go we could see that our text shows up we could format our text in any way we want we could do all kinds of cool stuff in fact we can make this look even better what I'm gonna do is right click here and go into filters and I think what I want is a drop shadow on this so I'm gonna go ahead and add a shadow right there click OK and you can see the shadow kind of poking out there let's make it bigger like that there we go and we're gonna adjust our light angle I like that and our distance away like that and there we go so we're adding a little bit of depth to our scene right there it almost looks like a picture that was stabbed on top of things so I love it we can clear it everything goes away we can record whatever we want like that and we can go ahead and click F2, and there we go. As you can see, it works pretty good. And we also have, right down here, you can see the replay source, right? It's playing whatever I was saying right there. So your stream is gonna hear this audio. So you can either mute that audio if you want by just clicking right here, and now that audio is muted. For, for some reason, I have my regular audio muted. So now that audio would be muted, and it doesn't matter if I go and I uh, clear it, and then I create another one like that, and then if I just go ahead and play it, you can see that it will always come up muted, it won't play that, we can make fun of whatever goofy face we're making. This doesn't have to be this size, we could certainly make it this size, or whatever, and you know, we can just be peeking around. So that is the simple way to make a very simple replay. But let's add another one and I'll show you how to do game replays and that sort of stuff. Since I know we've got a lot of gamers in the audience. So what I'm going to do is create another one and we're going to call this replay 2 and I'm going to click OK. So now we have another scene called replay 2. I'm going to click the plus and we're going to add another replay source. And this one we're going to call replay to source and we're going to click OK. For this source we're going to use our video game. In this case I just am using a media source. We can use the audio from that source if we want and you know basically everything else is exactly the same. We want a loop and next scene and all that stuff. Here we're going to want to create a second directory. So we're going to want to go out here because we don't want it to accidentally be taking the replays from the other directory. So I'll right click here and I'll go new folder and we'll call this replay two and we'll click select folder and there we go. So now we have a second replay folder and all we have to do now is click OK. And so theoretically if we go and run this it's going to play our little bit of game footage. So we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into hotkeys. And now we have to find our replay source 2. 
So this is replay source one, and here is replay source two. So for this one, we're gonna go with save replay is gonna be F4, our load replay F5, and our clear replay is gonna be F6. And so now we're all set. Now we have this here, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our scene. So in this case, scene, and we want replay two, and we're gonna click okay, and we're gonna shrink up our replay two, so it is right here. And now if we record our replay two with F4, we can replay replay two with F5, and there we go, all the way up in the top right hand corner, it is showing a quick replay of what we just did. We can clear it with F6 and it goes away. So now we've got a game replay and we've got an actual camera replay and they're two separate ones. Now we actually have two separate replays. So I wanna, I wanna create some kind of cool action that moves that onto our screen. So I'm gonna come over here to, to screen, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go into filters. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus here and we're going to add a move source filter and click OK. And the source that we want to move is going to be replay two. All right, so right now replay two is right here and we're gonna call this one uh, replay on. All right, and we're gonna go down here to the transform and we're gonna get the transform. So that is replay on. And so the next one we're gonna create, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to move source and we're gonna do replay off. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And for replay off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over here off the screen and we're gonna get our transform. So now if we do replay on, it comes on. If we do replay off, it should move off. For some reason it didn't take our source movement. So we're gonna get the transform again. There we go, moves on. Ah, and I see what the problem is here. We don't have the proper source selected. So we've gotta select replay two here. Then we can move it off the screen and we can get our transform. Now, replay on moves it on, replay off moves it off, and there we go. So now, how do we use that? Well, we're gonna go ahead and click close, and we're gonna go back into our settings, and we're gonna go into our hotkeys. We already know when we turn our replay on for our actual media source here, we're using F5, and when we turn it off, we're using F6. So now all we have to do is go into the scene for our screen right here, and you can see that it has our filters right here, show, and hide and replay on and replay off. Replay on and replay off are those filters that we just created. So we're gonna do F5 for replay on and we're gonna do F6 for replay off. And so if we apply that and we click okay, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll create a new one by clicking F4 and we'll show that new one by clicking F5. There we go looks awesome and we can clear it by doing F6 and it goes off the screen. So F5 brings it on, F6 moves it off. Look at that and, and then of course we can just clear it with F6. We can go and create a new one using F4 and then when we go ahead and we click F5 it will bring on the new one. It's really that simple. You can actually do multiples and everything else using this application. For the purposes of this, what I wanna show you, that's the basics. There are a couple of added plugins on here that I used. I'll have links to the other plugins that I used in this video in there as well. Those plugins would be the Move Transition, the Stroke, Shadow, and Glow plugin, and of course, the Advanced Mask plugin. If you want to see some videos that highlight the other plugins that I used in this video, you should check these out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.